Time Spiral Remastered continues to spoil. We have got the black and red cards to go over today to continue trying to answer the question, Time Spiral Remastered, are you worth it? Is it worth it? Wizards of the Coast keeps doling out color after color this time in a weird spoiler season. We're going to go through all of it right now. Red and black cards. The video starts right now. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fanfight series. Link in the description below. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake. I'm Joel. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel are Magic. We are going to go through the black and red cards, but first, if you would, go down there, hit that like button if you like the video by the end of it, hit that dislike button if you don't, it really helps us out. Or head on over to Patreon, that's a great way to support the channel, or just simply subscribe. That's a great way too. So there's a lot of great cards over here at Scryfall that you should go check out. This is one of our best resources whenever we're creating a video like this. Um, go head over there. You can look at all the spoilers that we've seen so far. There's even some spicy green cards. Make sure that you're subscribed because we have a future video about that. But we are going to, for brevity, highlight the best cards for your wallet. If you're buying one of these expensive boxes that are around $200 right now, you kind of want to hope that there's some good hits in the set. And one thing that you should keep in mind about this set, there are initial numbers that are suggesting that these old border cards are going to appear one per box in foil. So the foil scarcity on some of these big hits, like we talked about True Name Nemesis, we're talking about some big cards today that also have old border foils, some cards that have their very first printing in the or very first reprint in this old border so that you can recoup some of that value. We're gonna talk about those cards right now. First up, we're talking about Sanguine Bond, one of these great drain cards, excellent enchantment, my favorite permanent type in Magic the Gathering. This card's around three bucks. And uh, in this border, you should rest assured there are going to be some players that are looking for this in foil. Yeah, like we said in the first video, old border foil. That is what we are focused That's on it, with man. this set. That's what we want to be opening out of these. There are a few big reprints in the normal border. I'm going to call it the modern border. Sure. And we'll see some of those in the video today. But old border foils that is what we're looking for we'll follow up sanguine bond with leyline of the void we've got adam rex mm. art on leyline of the void which is notable we got new art for the leyline of the void or back to older art from leyline of the void it's in that old border this in foil jake this is a pretty high value card right it's been i it's love been this played. card I, I love it it's a great modern card when modern makes a resurgence so it the pimp factor on this for me is very high. There's also people that play it in EDH as like a way to grief uh, graveyard decks. What's our value of Leyline oh, yeah, of the Void? Uh, value on this right now is only around four to five bucks, but again, that's because formats like Modern and, and uh, Pioneer and formats that really want Leyline Legacy and stuff like right. that, they're just not really uh, firing right now. Yeah, absolutely. Look at this one though. Ooh, yeah, baby. next up, Thoughtseize. I mean, the, the big daddy of all amazing hand disruption spells in this og lorwyn art again throwback border this is time spiral remastered so it's got these uh cool throwback borders i love it dude um yeah this is gonna have a huge huge multiplier if you're able to pull again that very scarce foil slot of this card yeah old border foil baby if i said talk dirty to me in magic the gathering and you said old border foil yeah. lorwyn old art border, foil, lorwyn. i'd be like oh so baby. 12 to 14 baby 12 yeah. to 14 on this so so a uh, pretty nice price tag if you pull this card as is but again in that foil who knows yep it should be higher here's one in the non old border treatment but jake again it doesn't take a crystal ball and a lot of magic to make the call but we did say that damnation was probably going to be in this set up shifted to mythic so that's pretty relevant not a rare anymore but i do love that they reprinted this card this is going yes. to be one of the one of the better hits of the modern frame so mythic at this point just means we recognize that this card has a high price that's right that's like how i analyze that because this is not a mythic effect it's a board white it should be rare uh, I don't think it needed an upshift to Mythic. Yes, it has a great effect. It's a very playable card, but it just needed a reprint. And now you're making it Mythic. That's not going to put that many copies 
into circulation. It's just a card that's not going to have a, a huge correction. Buy it when it's low if you don't yeah. have one. But yeah, yeah great one card will... around 40-ish, but uh, I'm already seeing pre-sales for this as low as like 15 to 20 bucks. Yeah, this one will have a dip before it rips back up. So make sure you buy that dip. That's when you're going to be able to acquire your copy of Damnation. Now, Jake, I've got a sexy one here, and that is Old Border Yogma Thran Physician. Already a very popular and expensive commander um, as Modern a card Horizons. alone. Yep. So it's like a, a infancy as far as how long it's been around. Exactly. But in this frame in particular, this card and the lore behind this card really shines. Yeah, this is definitely one of the chase cards of the set. Um, this card right now, 18-ish, uh, the foil of that much higher. Um, Modern Horizons hasn't really been opened up much. And uh, we do have Modern Horizons 2 that's going to be coming out. Again, Modern not really moving very much. So when Modern actually does come back, you can expect um, more of a demand for this card. But then also that EDH playability that we're always talking about here at Jake and Joel. Very, very strong card. The foil of this I would expect to be, you know, don't quote me, not financial advice, but as, as high as 80 to 100 bucks, I would I would say easily. Yeah, minimum 40 is actually what I was going to call. So yeah, I could see it double up to 80 for sure. Those yeah. are five of the black cards that we know are going to have some of the highest value as the targets that you want to hit when you're opening this product. Let's take a look at some red cards and we're going to start with Old Border Monastery Swift Spear. Jake, this is so beautiful to me. This reminds me of when I started playing Magic. This red frame, this color red, I just am such a huge fan of this border. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Because this card is really only like two or three bucks. It's been reprinted into the ground. Originally made its uh, debut in Cons of Tarkir, I believe, or Cons block. But it was a, a red staple, got added into um, just a multitude of red aggro decks across multiple formats. Whenever it's in standard, it dominates whatever red deck it's in. It's just absolute gas firing on so many levels. Uh, yeah, it's uh, I can't really talk more. Uh, say more good things about this card. Yeah, and it's also a card that people are going to want to acquire in fours. And so this, I think, would be a really good target to get in this old border foil, especially yep. if the foils don't curl. We're not going to get into that in a huge way, but hopefully we don't have any Pringles coming out of this set. Kikijiki Mirror Breaker. Jake, kind of crazy. We have got the Kikijiki Mirror Breaker combo made into the set built right into the set so you can get it in limited the creature that steals stuff and you can make copies of it untap everything you're just infinitely going off kiki jiki it's mirror more breaker. fun than uh world or what was it the um the tree and triscodecophobia that they printed oh. into that master set the one time yes a little bit more of a fun combo yeah for this Red, is but... uh yeah this is fun i like this and um this card right now, Kiki Jiki, 15-ish dollars, but yeah. that's just like the regular bottom line copy of the card. You could probably find it for cheaper. Take all these prices with a grain of salt. Do your due diligence. Search around if you're trying to find these cards. But Kiki Jiki, in this foil treatment, I mean, you're looking at a huge EDH, CEDH staple here. A uh, card that also big combo potential in whatever formats it's legal in. Um... Yeah, people have been going crazy with this card forever. And yes, I love that art. Oh, yeah. That art, this frame. Thank that you. That is the kind of thing that we are looking for out of this set. As is this, Jake. Look at that tombstone in the top left. You want to talk about reminding me of when I started playing. I started playing right as Invasion Block was wrapping up, and we were going on an odyssey with Kamal and friends. That threshold indicator tombstone thing yeah, what does on that mean? the cards. Tell me what it, it means. means. It means that it's got flashback. It means that it either has wow. something to do with the graveyard uh, through threshold or flashback. Um, it's so that you could glance through your graveyard and see the cards that you could cast again. I, I love that. You know, they abandoned it, but it was a thing back then. Um, and we've got it here with Past in Flames. Jake, four costs for this sorcery that has been around and playable for quite some time. Yeah, you're looking at a Storm card, another great EDH, CEDH card. You're looking at a lot of cards that are getting, in my opinion, their pimp treatment in this set. Um, looking at a lot of important cards here in past and yeah. flames is no exception uh yeah this card is just absolute gas i run How it in Karavik. value yeah, on past and flames what are we looking at for that oh yeah value on past and flames sorry is only around three dollars but again okay. a lot of the cards can't reiterate this enough hey red card reiterate 
can't <laughs> reiterate it enough. Um, you're looking at cards that you're going to want that old border foil, specifically foil treatment. This card is going to be desirable in non-foil, but in foil, that's what players are going to look for. And we really are, like Joel said, looking for good card quality on these foils. Hoping yeah, for absolutely. It. Talking about EDH staples, Jake, Vandal Blast in old frame, hopefully foil. This one's got to have some value. I love this card. It's so good. I Seth really McKinnon just art. love blowing up everybody's mana rocks. Yep, absolutely. It's, just, it's a heat. It's so good. And the, the value on this is actually one of the more valuable cards, and it was an uncommon at around uh, $5 here. Yep. Yeah, so we're looking at old border version of Vandal Blast with that Seb McKinnon art EDH staple. Obviously, that's what we are looking at when we're trying to track down the value in this set. I just realized this is the moment of my life where I just realized that Seb McKinnon did the art on Vandal Blast. Oh, really? Well, there you go. Now you learned. You you are one of today's 10,000. Congratulations. We've got Magus of the Moon as one of the biggest hits that we saw in red during the preview season. Only in the regular treatment, but 15 bucks. a solid reprint. What'd you say? 50? 15. 15. Yeah. I mean, at 15 bucks for a rare price. With an incoming down. correction, but yeah, yes. absolutely. We're yeah. going to have a correction on it, but it was nice to see this getting a reprint because who doesn't want more people playing Blood Moon crap? It's Blood Moon on the creature. Those are the cards we found looking through the black and red cards. Let us know down below which cards we forgot or what card you are the most hyped about seeing in that old border frame. We'd love to chat to you about it. While you're down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video and you want to see more like it, Jake, I'm tapped out. It's cool to be the Magus of the moon, but imagine being the Magus of the sun and what kind of sunscreen you would have to wear in order to be the Magus of the sun.